Sorry guys, I'm putting out a video and all I saw my own files. Um, bit of a tough one to swallow that one. Uh, yeah, no, it was disappointing for sure. Um, would have been tough for Brian and the Hawks to swallow if we hadn't nailed that last one. So it's very disappointing, um, you know, second half, I thought. Uh, you know, we got up by 17 there in the third and, uh, you know, we just failed to sort of seize the moment. Um, there was lots of opportunities there. Even earlier than that, I thought, you know, just putbacks and gimmies, you know, just sort of... Real easy shots around the basket. We're a little fumbly as well with the ball, and um, you know some of that was their pressure, but some of that uh, that was also just us um, being a little bit off tonight too. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm mid flying up. Um, You'd obviously be pleased to have Keith back and, and happy with what Ian Cole sort of put together in their first kind of team again. Um, how do you kind of change momentum now, you know, going to Sydney without... Uh, I don't think the clubs have backed to beat in Sydney. Yeah, well, Illawarra had never beaten us. So, you know, those things don't last forever. You know, I'm not too concerned about the fact we've never beaten Sydney before. Um, you know, like a couple of times last year, we had uh, some games at home where we lost it overtime and lost in the last possession. So it's not like we haven't been in those games. Um, so it's not a place that we fear. It's a team we respect. And, um, you know, we just have to play a lot better basketball than what we did tonight if we plan on uh, getting a couple of wins against them. Um, Jeff and Harvey sort of caught fire in the last score. I think they had... Um 20 or 21 of their 27 points. What was the what was the plan for them? Was it sometimes you just sort of look at it and go, like, you know, make some little shot from outside court, court and just go, just shake your head? No, no, I mean, you can't, you know, sometimes I guess you're forced to just shake your head. Like, they can hit some really tough shots, but felt like we had some breakdowns defensively that allowed them to get those looks. Um, so I felt like we contributed to their success um, in that instance. Kyle, um, really good game from yourself, and, and I know you sort of play those things down, but, but you're having a career year. Can you talk a little bit personally about the confidence that you've taken from uh, getting this opportunity to start? Um, I mean, yeah, it's been great. It's been an uh awesome opportunity but um, you know you see Kiefer's value on, on both ends of the floor for us and um, to have him back tonight was was awesome and I think um, you know what we've seen all year with us whether it be injury or you know we've had guys step up um, you know fortunately you know I've had that opportunity and, and um, you know I feel like I've made the most of that but um, in saying that tonight I still feel like I turned the ball over a little bit and um, you know maybe I'm critical but um, yeah a few breakdowns and things like that so Definitely a disappointing result tonight. Simon, can you give us an update on Ryan Brokoff? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, he's speaking to him. He said it was a uh, it was his groin, and he said he'd be all right. But he hasn't spoken spoken to the physio, and um, you know you've got to wait till those things cool down, I guess, before you know best. And yeah, we'll see how he goes. Hopefully, he's uh, just a little tighten. Um, there's a little tightening, and then. Uh, we can loosen him up and get him right for Sunday.